Chapter 7 Descendants of Issachar The four sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron. The sons of Tola were Uzai, Rephaiah, Jeriel, Jemei, Ibsam, and Shemuel. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. At the time of King David, the total number of mighty warriors listed in the records of these clans was 22,600. The son of Uzai was Israiah. The sons of Israiah were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. These five became the leaders of clans. All of them had many wives and many sons. So the total number of men available for military service among their descendants was 36,000. The total number of mighty warriors from all the clans of the tribe of Issachar was 87,000. All of them were listed in their genealogical records. Descendants of Benjamin Three of Benjamin's sons were Bela, Beker, and Jediael. The five sons of Bela were Esben, Azai, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Eri. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors from these clans was 22,034, as listed in their genealogical records. The sons of Beker were Zemira, Joash, Eleazar, Elioenai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors and leaders from these clans was 20,200, as listed in their genealogical records. The son of Jediel was Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan were Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kanaena, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahashahar. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. From these clans, the total number of mighty warriors ready for war was 17,200. The sons of Ur were Shuppam and Huppam. Hushim was the son of Aher. Descendants of Naphtali the sons of Naphtali were Jezeel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shillam. They were all descendants of Jacob's concubine Bilha. Descendants of Manasseh The descendants of Manasseh through his Aramean concubine included Azrael. She also bore Maker, the father of Gilead. Maker found wives for Huppam and Shuppam. Maker had a sister named Meeka. One of his descendants was Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Maker's wife, Maeka, gave birth to a son whom she named Pirish. His brother's name was Shirish. The sons of Pirish were Ulam and Rechem. The son of Ulam was Bedan. All these were considered Gileadites, descendants of Maker, son of Manasseh. Maker's sister, Hamoliketh, gave birth to Ishad, Abaezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahayan, Shechem, Lichai, and Anayim. Descendants of Ephraim the descendants of Ephraim were Shuthala, Birid, Tehath, Elida, Tehath, Zabad, Shuthala, Ezer, and Elid. These two were killed trying to steal livestock from the local farmers near Gath. Their father Ephraim mourned for them a long time, and his relatives came to comfort him. Afterward, Ephraim slept with his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beriah because of the tragedy his family had suffered. He had a daughter named Shira. She built the towns of Lower and Upper Beth Horon and Uzan Shira. The descendants of Ephraim included Repha, Reshef, Tila, Tehan, Laden, Amihud, Elishama, Nun, and Joshua. The descendants of Ephraim lived in the territory that included Bethel and its surrounding towns to the south, Naaran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its surrounding villages to the north as far as Ea and its towns. Along the border of Manasseh were the towns of Bethshan, Teanach, Megiddo, Dor, and their surrounding villages. The descendants of Joseph's son of Israel lived in these towns. Descendants of Asher The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Beriah. They had a sister named Sarah. The sons of Beriah were Heber and Malchael, the father of Berzaeth. The sons of Heber were Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham. They had a sister named Shua. The sons of Japhlet were Peshach, Bimhal, and Ashbath. The sons of Shomer were Ahai, Roga, Haba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam were Zopha, Imna, Shelish, and Amal. The sons of Zopha were Shua, Harnefer, Shul, Berai, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Beira. 
The sons of Jether were Jephuna, Pizpa, and Era. The sons of Ula were Era, Haniel, and Rizia. Each of these descendants of Asher was the head of an ancestral clan. They were all select men, mighty warriors, and outstanding leaders. The total number of men available for military service was 26,000, as listed in their genealogical records.